right. How's it going, guys? Cool. How many of you guys are familiar with Panasonic at all in any format? Okay. Wait, what? Your batteries? Right. You got batteries. What else? Stereo. Stereos. It's TVs. TVs. You say Walkman? I don't think you guys even know what that is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I knew. I had, a, I had a Panasonic Walkman when I was growing up, so that's that. That was what came to mind when I when I started looking for jobs and I found Panasonic. So what we do, we're actually batteries now. A lot of people don't really know us for batteries. Uh, we do have like AA, AAA batteries and stuff like that. But what we're doing now is um, we actually make batteries for the Tesla vehicles. Are you guys familiar with the Tesla cars? Yeah. yeah. Who could tell me what the great thing is about like Tesla vehicles? They're just, they're themselves. That, that is awesome. That is, that is great. What else? Electronic, right? So what, what does that mean? It doesn't burn gas, right? Very clean energy, um, not very affordable for most people, right? They're about eighty, ninety thousand dollars for a Tesla Model S. Super expensive, right? You know, most of us can't afford that. You know, I definitely can't afford that. One day, hopefully. Do you think I can afford it? Maybe one day. Maybe one day. So, so our whole mission right now in Panasonic, we're actually located in Reno, Nevada. Are you guys familiar with Reno outside of like Wolfpack football, you know, keeping the cannon this year, all that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. We got, we got a Wolfpack rep over here. <laughs> no, so we're, we're located right outside of Reno. Um, we're in what's called the Gigafactory. So Tesla has built this giant Gigafactory, Gigafactory representing, you know, I, it'll be close to 10 million square feet when it's all said and done. It's going to be one of the largest buildings on the planet. Uh, what we'll be, we will be doing there is Panasonic will actually be building all the batteries, manufacturing uh, all the, the lithium ion batteries for the Tesla vehicles. So specifically, or more specifically, the Model 3. So the Model 3 vehicle, are you guys familiar with that at all? No. So the Model 3 is about $35,000. So you go from a car that costs about eighty to ninety thousand dollars, and you have a car that is almost just the same price as a Camry. So now your parents could be buying one of these vehicles. Um, the way we make that happen is by reducing the cost of raw material by bringing it into a giant gigafactory, right, and making all of our batteries there. Right now, we make all the batteries for the Tesla vehicles over in Osaka, Japan. So we have to take raw material and lithium and send it over to Osaka, Japan, build it into batteries, send the batteries back to Fremont, California, so they can be put in the, the Model S's. So that's why they cost $90,000. But by reducing the cost and having everything done under one roof, it makes it affordable for you guys to one day have a vehicle or possibly a scooter. I think Panasonic and Tesla has been working on some scooters, stuff like that that are more affordable. But also, they don't cost money to put gas into the thing, right? Well, it's a little bit cleaner environment. Like What's that? Like a moped scooter? Yeah, like mopeds, man. Oh, wow. Have you seen those yet? Oh. Are you guys familiar with Tesla, at least? No. A lot of people are familiar with Tesla because of SpaceX and uh, the Model S. And have you guys seen the new Roadster that just came out? No. Or the new semi-truck that just came no. out? Yeah. So imagine a semi-truck that drives itself. See, this thing does that. zero to 60, zero to 60 in about five seconds. The semi? Yeah, it's a semi. Wow. So it's the new semi vehicle. Yeah, exactly. It's weird, right? It's weird. But right? it's weird. Well, you know, you you know, what's kind of cool is uh, when you sit at a traffic light, right? You're stuck at a traffic light. Any of you guys drive? Any of you guys drive? Okay. How mad are you guys when you guys hit like? rush hour traffic and it's crazy or you're like hey man get off your phone just drive you know we all say it right so imagine that the person that is behind the wheel of that vehicle doesn't even have to do any of the driving the light turns green all three cars the light go and then they stop when they need to stop that will cut your your traffic time down you know significantly and you know, it creates me less of a headache saying, man, those high school kids, they just don't know how to drive when it's probably oh, my you. buddy over on the other side, right? That's all right. I love having my own theme music. All right, so. Um, I can't even get over this. Yeah, it's beautiful. Hey, who has a good singing voice? You do? You do? 
<laughs> Alright, so what I'm, what I'm doing here is uh, I, I came out from Panasonic, we come out from Reno, we're looking to start recruiting uh, you guys' class and putting you guys through a program, uh, what we call the P3 program. Thank you. Alright, so what, what we're trying to do is we're trying to come out here and start uh, showing you guys some pathways that do exist. How many of you guys are planning on going to college? Uh, how many of you guys have figured out a way to pay for that college? You know, a few of you. You're on the right track, though. So, for the most part, college is not very affordable for everyone, and it's very difficult, you know? You're kind of rolling the dice, kind of rolling the dice, uh, trying to get through and go to school. There are careers out there, like working at Panasonic, where you could be making $14, $17, $24 an hour, with full benefits and all that. Uh, what we're doing is we're trying to get you guys motivated and interested to get into these pathways. Some of these pathways are paid for. You guys would go through school and go through college for free, and then by the time you guys complete your certification, you guys will be able to get a job with Panasonic. Um, and depending on how you feel about moving to Reno, uh, that's where you'd be moving to. We actually provide you with a relocation allowance. Uh, it's about $6,200 to get up there and find a place to live. Um, you get up there, you have you know, between $14 and $17 an hour you're getting paid. Man, that guitar is getting hot. Oh, <laughs> 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 All right, there we are. <laughs> yeah, so what we're trying to do is come out here and motivate you guys to take some of these pathways. Right now, you, get, you guys can get through and finish uh, one of our pathways. Uh, the Panasonic Preferred Pathway, which will be done out here in Vegas as well. Um, it'll be seven college credits. You can finish that in about 12 weeks or less. Uh, it's all self-paced, so you can go online, you knock out the courses, and then you go, uh, which will be out at uh, the Southeast Connector uh, at SECTA. You'll go and take uh, all your instructions and stuff there, uh, knock that out, and then once you complete it, uh, you'll be eligible for a job with us. Uh, you then come and work for us in the Gigafactory. Right now we have people completing that out of high school. They complete it, make $17 an hour, full benefits, uh, dental, vision, health insurance. Um, they get an IRA, 401k through uh, Fidelity, where we actually match 8% of your money uh, that you guys are investing in there. Um, so it's, it's sustainable for you. It's a good place to work. We have people that are coming out and they're taking this program, making $17 an hour, and we're having them promoted up to uh, M3s, which is our training level, or shift leads, where they're making $24 an hour. Um, that's pretty good money, straight out of high school, and just knocking out these certificates. Yeah, exactly. If nothing to spend on, you can get a Tesla, man. You can model three. There you go. Um, but that's what we're doing. We're out here to motivate you guys. Uh, my team of recruiters will be out here throughout the year, uh, checking in, especially with JAG, and trying to assist you guys in the process. If it's not going through one of these pathways, uh, that we're building right now, and you are just looking at going to college and you have questions, feel free to reach out to us. We just want to be uh, motivating you guys to get somewhere. Uh, but these pathways are going to be one of the best options you have because you're going to get free education out of it, free college, and this will stack into an associate's degree and a bachelor's degree down the line. And you guys can pay literally nothing for it. Um, when I started going to college, I actually went to go play baseball. Um, ended up tearing my shoulder, getting dropped from baseball, now having to pay for my my tuition, and then I realized it's expensive. How much? How much does it cost to go to your first year of college? Ballpark. Nine thousand dollars. Twelve hundred. Where are you going? What school? What school are you going to? CSN. CSN. You, you're going to go to UNLV. Go to UNLV. Some of you guys had a plan. Uh, what state school are you guys going to? Uh, UNLV. UNLV. Um, how how are, have you have you looked at how much it costs to get there? Uh, so that that's when it started making sense for me. What about you? Oh wait, hold on. Yeah. I was asking her a question. <laughs> okay. So when you start looking at it, man, if you're looking at UNR, a lot of people go to UNR from UNLV or from Las Vegas. Why? That's cheaper. No, it's cheaper. It's about twenty thousand to thirty thousand out here. Oh no. Per year. Oh no. 
And Reno, Reno is about nine thousand to ten thousand. That's what I was asking you. I was like, man, he's going to Reno. I know exactly where he's thinking. So you start adding that ten thousand dollars on top of each other. You know, you have a four-year degree. How many, how many people complete that four-year degree in four years? What do you think the percentage is? No way. It's less than twenty-four percent. I'm seven years into a four-year degree. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the problem. It's because now you go to school and you want to be a doctor, and then you learn you don't like blood, right? And then you're like, man, I don't like blood, but I'm two years into this degree. I'm going to switch my degree because I want to go like teach children, you know, because I'm okay with boogers. I'm not okay with blood, right? So now you switch. Now you're going to start adding that on. College is fantastic, but having a solid plan is the best way to get there, right? So outside of that, what we're doing is we're de developing a pathway program so that you guys can get in, knock out some credits. So your first, your first tier would be seven and a half credits that you'll get, and that's college credit. You'll knock it out, you have seven and a half college credits. Then you go for your next certificate, and it'll be seven to eight college credits. And then you go for your next certificate, and then if you don't like it by then, you haven't wasted two years of your life trying to figure out what's out there, right? When I went to school, I started going, and I was like, man, I'm gonna go for business, because that's the easiest one to knock out, right? So I started going to school for business. I literally hated every single class I took, except for, I think, my composition class. That was the only class I actually liked, like writing. Now I'm getting ready to go back to school and go for another four year degree to go do, go look at rocks, right? So I was like, oh, I don't like business now, I wanna go look at rocks. Not fun for most, but that's what I wanna do, right? But it's hard, you're gonna transition multiple times in your life and your interests and your goals and they're always gonna change. And that's okay, they should be. You're a human being, it's okay to change your mind. Uh, but having a plan definitely helps you out. So that's what we're here to do. Uh, myself and Lauren, Lauren does our social media and marketing. And what we're really trying to do is get involved with you guys and answer you guys' questions. Coming from a business side, and yes, I do represent Panasonic, but my interest is in helping you guys get somewhere and making it the most expedient for you guys. Um, but as far as these pathways go, they're probably one of the best things, best options that you guys are gonna have because it's free and you can complete it. For the most part, being able to complete a certificate and get a job within 12 weeks, right out of high school and a job making $17 an hour is very, very lucrative. Yeah? Like, what are the qualifications? So for the, for the training, what we do is we sit down with you guys one-on-one uh, -on -one and we say, hey, what do you like to do? Because most of you guys don't have job experience yet. Most of you guys, if you do, I worked at McDonald's, man. Starting out, my mom made, put me to work. She's like, you're gonna go work at McDonald's. You wanna have a cell phone when you're a senior in high school? You're gonna pay for it. I was like, oh, all right. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, you know, you haven't had a professional job. You're not building your resume yet. Um, what we do is we sit down with you and say, hey, so what are your interests? What do you wanna do? We wanna guide you. If you don't wanna work at Panasonic, you don't seem like someone that wants to work at Panasonic, I'm not gonna put you in there, it's gonna waste your time, right? Um, what we're looking for is, you know, for the most part, high school diploma, uh, motivated and willing to learn, willing to go through these classes. It's important to be on time, huh? It is absolutely important to be on time. <laughs> so I thought I would put that out there, I just, just wanted to throw that out there. That, if, you can do, if you can do one thing in your life right now to, to, to make yourself successful, arrive everywhere 15 minutes early. That's it, that's all you have to do. That's it. <laughs> you are so shady right now. <laughs> no, it, it is the absolute truth. I've watched, I, I, I went into the military afterwards, got out of the military, and really what I've seen in the civilian sector is really just be where you're supposed to be on time, and you're going to get promoted. Because that's difficult for a lot of people. They cannot do that. And that's why, that's why your teachers, your instructors emphasize that stuff. And it's a simple thing to do, right? If I told you you're going to make $100,000 a year and all you had to do was show up 15 minutes before you're supposed to, oh, yes. what would you do? Yes. You'd change your life, right? You're like, oh, 15 minutes early. 15 minutes early. That's all you have to do. That, that's really it. For, for us, those are our qualifications that we're looking for. We want to find people that are going to be punctual are motivated, self-motivated, want to show up to work and just have a good attitude. And that will take you very far in life, uh, trust me. Um, but yeah, the simple, the simple things, that's all you need to start building now, and especially in JAG. JAG's fantastic for that. Um, you guys have some instructors that have you know, been around the block and understand what it, what it takes, and they're here motivated to motivate you guys and just follow that direction. 
Uh, outside of that, there's businesses like myself. Uh, Chris Riley from Tesla will eventually be out here. I don't, I don't, has he been here yet? To this one? Chris Riley hasn't been here yet. Okay, so him, Chris and I are all over the place, but really we're trying to get this uh, program started down here in Southern Nevada and so that you guys start taking these courses to have a job. You guys can actually transfer. You can start your first certification here and then get a job in Reno and then take your second certification in Reno because it translates to both schools. And then whenever you get the up to the associate's level, you can start going for an engineering uh, degree through UNR or through UNLV. That's the stuff that we're working on right now. But it's not to get you, it's not just a means to an end. It's not just to get you a job. We're here to get you a job and get you a job in a sector that you wanna, you wanna be in so that you can propel and learn as you go. That's, that's the point. And it's not just for Panasonic, it's not just for Tesla. A lot of the manufacturers out here are getting ready to start adopting the same curriculum and certification. Mm -hmm. So you can still get jobs here. It'll still be functional for you guys. Uh, it's not just for our two facilities. Yes, we promote it the most because we're the ones really driving this, but it's gonna be for Vegas and for Reno. Um, do you guys have any questions about about the pathway at all or about the certification? How long, how long is the um, certification? So the certification, the first one right now, uh, right now we have uh, this, the M1 and M2 certification and we leave about 12 weeks to complete it. Um, we have people that have finished in, what, what did Josh finish, six weeks? Uh, five, five weeks. Yeah, he had a full-time job. He had a full-time job, had a baby, yeah. and he was like trying to take care of his family. And then on top of that, take these courses, and he finished it in five weeks. Full certifications came in at seventeen dollars an hour. That that is a big deal to be able to provide for your family. And not everybody's going to end up going to college. Like I started going to college, I was like, man, this sucks. I'll take a break for a while. It is hard, man. It's hard. But if if you're motivated just to have a job and provide, that's a good start by taking, you know, 12 weeks of training. Uh, okay, fair question. What, what, like, what am I gonna learn if I'm gonna go through these courses? So we're, we're structuring it a little bit different. A lot of the stuff, it's not gonna change a lot, uh, but we are adding some, some stuff and taking it away. But it'll be robotics. Um, are you guys familiar with PLCs, Programmable Logic Controllers? No. This is a lot of stuff, like, I'm. I'm speaking French to you guys right now, but it's really not that difficult. It's really like how to program, you know, a keypad, stuff like that. It sounds out of your realm, but it is not. Um, you learn pro programmable logic controllers, ACDC, electrical um, schematics, understanding basic electrical theory, um, a lot of hands-on stuff. It sounds kind of boring at first, but it's really the concept, picking up the concept. Um, you'll actually learn, uh, basically you'll have like a conveyor of a conveyor that drops out. It'll drop some balls into a bucket, move it down a conveyor. You'll work with these sensors, making sure the sensors are not blocking one another. Um, you'll have like a whole troubleshooting kit. So it's a lot of electrical, a lot of robotics, uh, stuff like that. Does that make sense? Um, there's a lot more I can go in detail, but it'd be like manufacturing, like how to eliminate time and waste of materials, stuff like that, lean manufacturing. Um, but it's, it's fairly reasonable and all the, a lot of the jobs I'd say out here in Nevada as a whole is really pushing towards manufacturing. And to piggyback on that, there, the way that the courses are structured is that it's not like your typical classroom setting. Um, the way you test out of each module is that it's all hands-on. Work at the robotics, there's not like, you know, exams and projects, it's really not like that. So. Um, it's more hands-on learning, you know, you're not sitting there reading, reading, reading. It's pretty much hands-on visual. So if you're more of that kind of learner, um, it's definitely, you know, a great program for exactly that. And it's had a lot of success for that exact reason. Because everything you're doing, you're not really learning a lot. That isn't going to apply with what you're going to be doing for your position. So it's, it's pretty great. Yeah, that goes a long way, especially for me. Like, I learn with my hands. Like, you can teach me something, but until I get my hands on it, I'm not going to understand it. I'm not going to comprehend it. Um, that's why it's developed like that. But you guys can actually be taking this course once it's finally set. I think we should be ready to go in January down here. Um, but you guys can be taking everything online, get out of school, go knock some stuff out, spend an hour online doing your certification. And then you just have to go, you know, as many times a week as you need to to go up there to go meet the instructor. Usually it's about an hour a week 
So you can go in there on a Saturday, knock out your test, and finish that by the time you're uh, graduated. You guys could probably finish this if you guys start in January when it's up and running. Uh, definitely in the first couple of months if you're, if you're really motivated. And then have a job waiting for you at the end. So you guys could take this certification, have a job waiting for you at the end, and then blow me off and be like, no, nah, I'm going to go to UNLV because I want to study law or whatnot. And that's fine. I, I just want you guys to be successful and have that opportunity. Does that make sense? Uh, any other questions on the certification piece? What about uh, in regards to Panasonic, what we're doing? What, are we, what kind of jobs would you guys be doing, right? That's what I would want to know is like, what am I going to be doing? Are you going to put me through a certification? Am I going to be working with robots all day? No, for the most part, you, you'll, you'll come in and we work in this giant factory, right? Panasonic takes up about 75 to 80% of this factory. So we manufacture all these lithium ion cells. So a whole lot of hoopla without really knowing what it, what it does. But the battery making process, you'll come in and you'll be basically in charge of a screen. Uh, making sure that any deviations on the screen are normal and then if anything shuts down you just fix it on the line. A lot of the machine is doing the work itself and you're just babysitting. That's how you're doing, you're babysitting a computer, really. Um, and the next job up from that, you know, you'll be working, training and leading uh, your peers or your group. And then up from that, you'll be really in a leadership role where you're making sure that you know parts are ordered or supplies are ordered and then fixing the machines when necessary. Um, I know manufacturing as a whole doesn't sound uh, very interesting. It's not like going out and being a recruiter or stuff like that. I mean, recruiting is not that interesting until I come out and talk to you guys. Um, but it is a stable job. And that says a lot for uh, most jobs that are out here. We haven't seen a steady economy in Nevada for a long time. So, you know, I, I grew up out here. I, I never saw that. You know, there's distribution centers or warehouses uh, coming and going, and people would get hired on for peak season and stay there for five months and then not have a job after that. These are continual jobs where you just have to show up on time uh, and you'll maintain employment. And you'll gradually move up in the wage scale and you know, $24 an hour is pretty good. Even when I was getting out of the army, I was making decent money in the army. I was like, oh man, I can get out making $20 an hour. That's, that's pretty good. But you're making $24 an hour working on stuff, fixing equipment, working on robots. It's, it's pretty cool. There's, there's a, lot, a lot of opportunity out there. Any of you guys work right now? What do you do? I work in the arcade and I work Okay. How, is that is that your dream job? That's where you want you want to be the rest of your life? No. So, what would motivate you to leave that job to go do something different? Right now. Yeah. So I got pay increase. Yeah. Pay increase? Okay. Um, what else? Is, is what you're doing right now meaningful to you? Do you feel good every day when you leave? You're like, man, I you know I fixed that arcade machine or whatnot. I'm so great. No, I don't like the job. So you so you. So that's what really drives us, is meaningful work. Right. So for us on Panasonic's end is by recruiting you guys, the, the thing that motivates me, one, is getting you guys into jobs, because I like seeing young men and women be successful. It's, it's nice, instead of not having any hope, going from 14% unemployment and just sticking there to where we're down to 5% as a state, it's pretty good. Um, but motiv what motivates me is motivating you guys to get in to seek a job. What motivates me about Panasonic is that we're changing the world. If we go to where electronic or electric vehicles are the future, and that's really what um, we're driving is to have electric vehicles in every household. We one reduce the the burden on the environment. You know, you, we don't see smog too much in Reno, and it's weird. But when I drive into LA and I see smog, I'm like, what is that? I feel like there's like kids movies that are like, oh, it's a big bad guy hanging over a city. Because that's what it is. It's like, how do you breathe that stuff and survive? You as a person, how do you consume that and you know, feel healthy? You know, everybody deserves to live in a world that you know, we don't have to breathe smog every single day. That, that's what we're driving. Like, as, as a company, you coming in and just doing your job is pushing us further to that because you're making those vehicles more affordable for everybody else. And that's just, that's just one thing. That's just our, the vehicles that Tesla's providing. We also do the power walls. Are you guys familiar with the power walls at all? So Tesla builds a power wall and we build all the batteries that go into that. Uh, are you guys familiar with what happened in Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico's power grid just completely destroyed. 
Um, there's children hospitals like babies on uh, needing like respirators or uh, needing re breathing tubes or feeding machines, um, stuff like that. And they can't get them because they don't have energy. They don't have anything to power them, right? So what Elon did, which was brilliant and pretty awesome, is he took some of our power walls and he put a bid in saying, hey, I'll deliver all these power walls and put sustainable energy. So these power walls uh, went on the back of this children's hospital. I think they put it in, installed it last week. So now there is a solar, uh, solar grid that captures all the sunlight and then puts it into these boxes of batteries and runs that children's hospital. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. So instead of you know having these giant power lines weaving back and forth that you guys see go down all the time, especially with fires or wind, you just have a little box that sits on the side of your house and powers your house. I think the, the power wall right now um, can harness enough energy to last your house five days without having to get any sun. So if the sun went out for any reason, uh, you, you can still run your normal house on this, this one box. So stuff like that, it's, it's, it's changing the world, and it's changing the world we live in. It'll probably shape and change your guys's, your guys's kids and grandkids' environment and the way they, they do things. You know, it's interesting. So th that's what I want to leave you guys with, is kind of the motivation, the, the so what? Why am I doing a job that I don't like? Because everybody, everybody likes shoes, right? I like shoes. And to buy shoes, you got to have money, right? Cash rules everything around me. That's the first thing I learned as a kid. And then my parents sent me out on my own to make make my own. So th that's what it comes down to is what motivates me to work? What motivates me to come into work? Because you don't want to work. If you're spending, you know, eight to ten hours a day at a place, you don't want to hate it. Trust me. Trust me. I've had bad jobs. You don't want to hate it. So it's going to be a job that motivates you, that you feel you're, you know, getting something out of, and something that pays well and then has a future. That, that's what you guys want. So with that being said, I would like you guys to definitely take a look at our, our, our pathways. We'll get more information out to you guys as soon as we can, uh, and as soon as they get it up and running down at CSN. Uh, but we'll be, we'll be in and out throughout the, the next year. But if you guys have questions outside of you know, any of this, just going to college or you know, what should I do, feel free. We're definitely, we've been through a lot <laughs> in the, the recruiting world. So. Anyone else have, have any questions at all? Zach, I have a question. Yep. Would you kind of um, explain the process? So I know you said that if there's interest starting in the spring, there will be the program. But kind of what does that look like from start to finish and including um, relocating up to Reno? Because okay. I know that we we have resources through JAG that, to help our students as well. OK. So the first step is when we get everything up and running uh, in January, uh, we'll actually give you guys a, uh, a web address to go to, and it'll log you in, and you'll actually apply for the program. Uh, the application will just basically just give us your name, and then when we come out here, we'll sit down with all of you guys that applied, and we'll talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not going to text you or say, hey, man, you want a job? I'm going to come and talk to you face-to-face, -face and either tell you yes or no. Um, that's just the type of person I am. I just feel like it's a better business that way. Uh, but we'll actually come down and, and meet with all of you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, the next step after that is we'll hand walk you over to the CSN representative that will be handling your orientation. So you don't really have to do anything. They'll say, hey, fill out this piece of paper, put it in. And then they'll say, hey, your dates or your school will start this day. Usually it's in, within a couple days uh, to a week. So you guys can actually be taking that while you guys are going to school here and completing it and getting college credit before you even get out of uh, high school. Uh, after that, once you complete the, the certification, uh, we'll set up an orientation date for you guys now to come over to the Panasonic side. Uh, we'll get all your relocation and everything uh, set. Uh, you will actually start. It's a relocation uh, uh, bonus, so you actually get it on your either your first or second paycheck uh, when you start with us. But you'll actually be able to come up there and uh, find a place, and we'll help you out in that regards. Uh, but we'll let you every, know everything you need to do before you start. Did that touch everything? Yeah. And there will there will be a more guided path once I get some more brochures. Lauren will probably build some fancy brochures with her social media skills and uh, send that all out to you guys. And then that way you guys have a clear picture of what it looks like. How do I get from this seat to Panasonic? We'll have that laid out for you guys. Sometimes that's all it takes is direction and knowing who to ask because most employers will come out here and say, hey, man, come, you know, 
apply and we'll hire you and then they don't tell you how. Uh, we're, we'll build everything, show you guys the exact pathway and get you guys there. Yay. All right. <laughs> Any other questions? Anything about future space travel? No. All right, cool. Well, I appreciate Thank you guys. You. Thank you.